Yo, YouTube, welcome into another video, ladies and gentlemen. We're having a normal random uh, a random day on stream on Twitch where we just react to whatever. And this was recommended to me. Obviously, I've been on YouTube for some time, uh, but didn't even know this video existed. We're about to find out, see what we got. Guys, join us live on stream. This is where we do these kind of things. We just vibe. If you want to put the video on while you're working in the background, that works. You know, it's just a it's just a chill time over here. Also, consider joining Patreon. A lot of exclusive content from what we do on stream and things that we would normally do on the channel. Go to Patreon first or exclusively on Patreon. And then lastly, if y'all guys want to follow the channel, we have a second channel. It's the third link in the description. Uh, we're doing TV and movie reviews over there. South Park, The Last of Us, you, we're going to do Disney, Pixar, all those kind of things. But other than that, history of the world, I guess. Let's see what we got. Hi, you're on a rock floating in space. Pretty cool, huh? Some of it's water. Fuck it. Actually, most of it's water. I can't even get from here to there without buying a boat. It's you can't get from here to there because the earth is not round, my boy. It's flat. Just kidding. I'm not a, I'm not a fucking flat earther, guys. It's sad. I'm sad. I miss you. How did this happen? A long time ago, actually never, and also now, nothing is nowhere. When? Never. Makes sense, right? Like I said, it didn't happen. Bro, this is so true right here. How are you going to tell me at the Big Bang, we just created something from nothing? Like our, my whole life, you can't create something out of nothing. And then all of a sudden we created everything out of nothing. Nothing was never anywhere. That's why it's been everywhere. It's nothing was never anywhere. That's why it's been everywhere. Oh shit, kind of a bar. That's like subtracting a negative. That's like multiplying a negative and a negative ends up being a positive. It's like California with y'all's fucking cancer labels. This product has been known to cause cancer. It might be a potential carcinogen. If everything gives you cancer, then nothing gives you cancer. It's been so everywhere, you don't need a where. You don't even need a when. That's how every it gets. This is a nice video editing moment right here. It's giving us time to realize what nothing and everything is. And everybody generally has mindset that nothing is dark, but nothing is the same thing as everything. And everything is white. Forget this. I want to be something. Go somewhere. Do something. I want things to change. That white ass screen reminded me of the SB129 episode of SpongeBob. Squidward goes into the, I'm all, all alone. Finally, some peace and quiet. I want to invent time and space, and I know it's possible because everything is here, and it probably already happened. I just don't know when to start. And that's exactly where it started. Oh, I paused it. I think there's a universe now. What's it made of? Quarks and stuff. Ah, that's a thing. In a place. Don't like it? Try a new place. At a different time. Try to stick together, because the world is going to get bigger and emptier. But it's not empty yet. It's still very full, and about a jillion degrees. Great news, the quarks are now happily married in groups of three, called a proton or a neutron. And there's something else flying around too that wants to- Hey, y'all ever think about how, like, smart the human race actually is? We figured out most of the universe in a time span of, like, 300 years. Let's just call it a thousand years. Not to- Well, I'm comparing us to just the fact that the sheer amount of things that we have figured out as a- as a- as a race, as a species, we figured out- almost everything but it also we don't know anything no let's just say that we are the only sentient people in the uh, in the universe and also we're never gonna see aliens guys just for the sheer luck of what it would have to be for us to get some kind of signal from an alien or an outside world aliens that are 40 billion light years away if they were able to see video transmission from earth they would still be seeing dinosaurs we would not even be alive yet they wouldn't know because by the time our civilization comes, it'll be 40 billion years down the line. So even if there is shit out there, there's no chance that we're fully aware of it. So join in, but can't because it's still too... Great news. The protons and neutrons are now happily married to each other. Some of them even doubled up. Great news. The electrons have now joined in. Congratulations. The world is now a bunch of gas in space. But it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. It's a star. Bro, 500 million years before the first star even came to existence. <laughs> yeah, but not knowing doesn't make it impossible. Yeah, it's a Schrodinger's cat situation. Like, is the cat dead or alive? We don't know. We can't open the box again. He could he could technically be in both states at the same time. And it's getting closer together. It's a star. New shit just got made. Some stars burn out and die. Bigger stars burn out and die with passion and make some brand new, way crazier shit. Which allows newer, more interesting stars to be made and then die and explode into even crazier space dust. 
podcast. So now Star Seven. Hey yo, this editing is 100% fire, by the way. I, I wonder how long this video took to edit. Cool stuff around them, like rocks, ice, and funny clouds, which can make some very interesting things. Like this ball of flaming rocks, for example. Holy shit, we just got hit with another ball of flaming rocks. And it kind of made a mess, which is now. Weather update, it's raining rocks from outer space. Weather update, those rocks might have had water inside them and now there's hot steam in the sky. Weather update, cooler temperatures today and the floor is no longer lava. Weather update, it's raining. This gotta be, I wonder how long this span of weather updates is. Like how, what's the time between the moon forming and then all these weather updates? Severe flooding alert, the entire world is now an ocean. Volcano alert. That's land. Bro, religion is punching the air right now. Now I do want to see this. If everything start, have y'all heard me talk about the whole water thing and why water is the most important thing if we're talking about evolution? There's one There's one property of water that is unique to water and very few substances that allowed life to even happen. But water is one of the few liquid sub substances that in its solid form floats on top of its liquid form. And if everything came from water, if all species came from water, quote unquote, during the winter times when water would freeze, if it didn't float, it would sink to the bottom, freeze a new layer, sink to the bottom, freeze a new layer, sink to the bottom, till eventually the lake or the river is frozen solid. That top layer of ice acts as insulation so everything underneath doesn't get frozen and still can survive. If it wasn't for water being able to float in its solid form, we just have nothing. There's nothing in the ocean. What? Something's alive in the ocean. Oh cool, like a plant or an animal? No, a microscopic speck. It lives at the bottom of the ocean and eats chemical soup, which is being served hot and fresh, made from gnarly space ingredients left over from when it was raining rocks or whatever. Oh yeah, and it can do that. It has secret instructions written inside itself telling it how to build another one of itself. So that's pretty nifty, I would say. Where did this fucking single cell microorganism come from though? Like it just formed? and became alive all of a sudden? If you believe in evolution, which all of the strong, like everything that points toward evolution, understandable, I would agree with you on, on a lot of evolution. And, and I'll even give you the whole, we created something from nothing, right? I'll give you the whole, we created something from nothing because now we're not talking about traditional matter. Now we're talking about like a whole another level of, of understanding of the way matter and mass works. I'll give you the something out of nothing, which normally that is a, that is a strong argument for people who believe in religion. But how does life form? come from nothing. All we had was water and elements, and now all of a sudden we have something that's alive. I mean, water makes everything alive, as we say. I think that water keeps everything alive. I don't know if water makes everything alive. You're telling me a random mutation led to an organism going from having no vision to an eye, which is so complex. Not just one eye, we went to two eyes somehow. Uh, do I think that there was a 30 day and 40 day and 40 night flood? Probably not. But do I think that this one single celled organism came from nothing? Came from just a bunch of elements? I don't see how that is possible. I might just be stupid though. So there's always that. Bottom of the ocean? Now you can eat sunlight. Using a revolutionary technique, you can convert sunlight into food. Taste the sun. Side effect, now there's <laughs> oxygen everywhere and the sky's blue. Then the earth might have been a snowball for a while, maybe even a couple of times. It's a sponge. It's a plant. It's a worm and some other types of weird, strange water bugs and strange fish. It's the Cambrian explosion. See, like, I get it for the sake of the joke and the editing, but we just glossed over a lot that happened to get all to get the Cambrian explosion. It's me. I'm responsible for all life. You're welcome. All right, Taylor Swift. Wow, that's animals and stuff. But we're still in the ocean. Hey, can we go on land? No. Why? The sun is a deadly laser. Oh, okay. Not anymore, there's a blanket. Now the animals can go on land. Not on. anymore, there's a blanket. And then you're telling me that somehow these animals, which prim that not even primarily, exclusively, they reside, I was going to say they reside, they reside in water. You're telling me somehow one of those evolved to create oxygen breathing lungs and had the smarts to know to go on land? Come on, animals, let's go on land. Nope, can't walk yet. And there's no food yet, so I don't care. Okay, will you learn to walk if there's plants up here? Maybe, said some bugs and fish. <laughs> okay, so I can go on land, but I have to go back in the water to have babies. <laughs> the editing. Learn between the. <laughs> okay, I can't do that. Let's just wait five billion years. And fish. <laughs> Year 380 million. <laughs> okay, so I can go on land, but I have to go back in the water to have babies. Learn to use an egg. I was already doing that. Use a stronger egg. Put water in it. Have a baby on land in an egg. Water is in the egg. Baby in the egg, in the water, in the egg. Works for me. 
Damn. They really did this, the biggest life hack of all time. I got to be in water. How about I be in water on land inside of a thing that holds water? And then God was like, all right, I'll give you that. I'll give you that win. Bye bye, ocean. And now everything's huge, including bugs. Want to see a map of the land? Sure. Oh, fuck. Now everything's dead. Just kidding, here are the survivors. Keep your eye on this one because it's about to become the dinosaurs. Here's another map of the land. Yeah, it broke apart. Don't worry about it. What's crazy is that people think that dinosaurs didn't exist. That's wild to me. Dinosaurs and big ass bugs and creatures were able to exist because of the sheer amount of oxygen that was on the planet at that time. And everything was able to grow bigger. And then obviously we had some type of ice age or some type of heat age and killed everything. Here's another map of the land. Yeah, it broke apart. Don't worry about it. It does that all the time. Here comes a meteor. This bitch don't know about Pangea. This bitch don't know about Pangea. Here comes a meteor. And the dinosaurs are gone. Hold up. So God made the earth, right? But then God was like, hold up. All this right here, this shit is boring. It kind of need more shit. And then he was like, I'm gonna put dinosaurs on that bitch. What? Dinosaurs on that bitch. And then you're telling me he was like, why'd I put dinosaurs on that shit? The fuck was he thinking? He made the earth for them and then he's like, nah? The dinosaurs are just fucking blah? Let me cook up some blondes? And this motherfucker was way off. Guys, on stream, all of y'all, do I look like a dinosaur? I'm literally five feet 11. On Hinge, though, I'm six foot. Have you seen a bronchiosaurus in y'all's lifetime? Have you been to the museum and seen one? That thing fucking net go to heaven. That's just an expression, bitch. They ain't no heaven. About it does that all the time. Here comes a meteor. And the dinosaurs are gone. It's mammal time. Here come the mammals. Look at those breasts. Now they're going to dominate the world. And, one of the and then now just mammals show up out of nowhere. How the fuck do mammals show up out of nowhere? So you're telling me single cell organisms showed up out of nowhere. Single cell organism evolved, I get that in water, but somehow one of those genetic mutations, lungs were created out of nowhere, the perfect thing to go on to land. And then after those lungs were created, dinosaurs came. Fucking meteor wiped out the dinosaurs. And then a couple millions later, let's just go ahead and create a, a far more advanced type of life known as mammals. Like there's a lot of there's a lot of plot holes in this bitch. It's mammal time, here come the mammals. Look at those breasts. Now they're gonna dominate the world and one of them just learned how to grab stuff and walk, no, like, walk like that, and grab stuff at the same time, and bang rocks together to make pointed rocks, ouch, and set things on fire, youch, and make crazy sounds with their voice, which can mean different. <laughs> hey guys, if, you're, if you believe in the theory of evolution, us creating fire is by far the turning point for us having the size brain and, you know, being able to think the way that we do. <clears throat> Before fire, a lot of your resources for your body went to digesting raw food. It takes way more resources to digest raw food than it does cook food. So we started cooking food and the body was able to break that shit down easier. So they're like, what do we do with all this extra energy? Well, let's go and create a brain. That's basically what happened. God said, let them cook. Literally said, hold up, let them cook. Your voice, which can mean different things. That's a human person. And now they're everywhere. Almost. Ice age. What? You can walk over here? Damn, imagine not even being in North America yet, then a couple thousand years later, we're the greatest country ever existed. USA, bitch. <laughs> I guess Mexico and fucking Canada can be here too. You can walk over here? Cool. Not anymore. Please. Not anymore. Let's just go out here and fucking cut the world off right there after we heat up. We're stuck here now. Let's review. There's people on the planet and they're chasing their food. Fuck it. Time to plant some grass. Look at this. I control the food now. Now everyone will want to be my friend and live near me. Let's all build houses, except mine is bigger because I own the food. This is great. <laughs> I wonder if anyone else is doing this. Tired of using rocks for everything? Use metal. It's underground. Better farming was just invented in a sweet dank valley right in between these two rivers. And the Sweet dank valley. <laughs> the animals are helping. Guess what happens next? More food. And more people who came to buy the food. Now you need people to help make the food and keep track of the sales. And now you need houses for people to live in and people to make the houses. And now there's more people and they invent things, which makes things better. And more people come and there's more farming and more people to make more things for more people. And now there's business, money, writing. Okay, okay, I can see how the world started getting out of hand once the humans showed up. Where are the floating blocks, though, that I can jump jump over while I'm watching the random-ass YouTube video that's on TikTok for some reason, and I'm just jumping thung, in Minecraft? All while somebody talks to me about fucking trans, trans rights. Laws, power, society. Coming soon to a dank river valley near you. 
Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, the horse is probably being tamed. Why is all my metal so lame and lumpy? Tired of using lame, sad metal? Introducing bronze. Made with special ingredient tin from the far lands of Tinland. I don't know, my dealer won't tell me where he gets it. Also, guess <laughs> my what? Dealer. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, they figured out how to put wheels on a horse. Now we're getting somewhere. Also, China. And did I mention? In this river valley civilization. The Middle East is good. You see what I mean? Like how smart we are? Even like during this time, to be able to do all this, to be able to do all that, is wild. Getting more complicated. Maybe because it's in the middle of the East. Knock, knock, or clop, clop. It's the people with the horses. And they made an empire. And then everyone else copied their horses. Greeks! Ah, oh, look, it must be the Greeks, or a beta version of the Greeks. Let's check in with the Indus River Valley civilization. They're gone. Guess who's not gone? <laughs> Let's check out the civil. Oh, they're gone. Guess who's not gone? China. New arrivals in India. Maybe it's those horse people I was talking about, or their cousins, or something. And they wrote some hymns and mantras and stuff. You this sounds like some that fucking fly to the Concord. What's that show on HBO? You could make a religion out of this. And they wrote some hymns and mantras and stuff. You could make a religion out of this. There's the Bronze Age collapse. Now the Phoenicians can get down to business. Also, can we switch to a metal that's a little easier to find? Thanks. Look who came back to Israel. It's the 12 tribes of Israel. And they believe in God. Just one, though. He's got like a 10-step program. Here comes the Assyrian Empire. Never mind. It's the Babylonian media. It's the Persian Empire. Bro, this is going so fucking fast. This is going so fast. I can't even like keep up with where we're at because something's the next thing's already happening. And it's not even like a small thing. It's like literally the rise and fall of empires and civilizations. Think about the fact that we spent the first five minutes glossing over the entire up to humans being, being evolved. We started from nothing and we got all the way to humans in five minutes. Ah, the Greeks just had the idea of thinking about stuff. And right over here, Alexander just had the idea of conquering the entire Persian Empire. It's a great idea. He was great. And now he's dead. Hopefully the rest of the gang will be able to share the empire. E the one in front of the gun lives forever type shit. Evenly between them. Knock knock, it's Chandragupta. He says, get the hell out of here. Will you get the hell out of here if I give you 500 elephants? Okay, thanks, bye. Time to conquer all of India. <laughs> most of India. But what about this part? That's the Tamil Kings. No one conquers the Tamil Kings. And they've got spices. Who would like to buy the spices? Me, said the Arabians, swiftly buying it and selling it to the rest of the world. Hey, China put itself back together again with good morals as their main philosophy. Actually, they have three main philosophies. Out here, the horse nomads. What did the last one say? Three main philosophies. Fuck you, Out obey here, the, the law. Nomads run wild and free. Let's check the Greekification levels of the Greekified kingdoms. Greekif this reminds me of oversimplified so much. Hey, said the Romans. Hey. The entire Mediterranean for breakfast. Thanks for invading our homeland, said the Jews, who were starting to get tired of people invading their homeland. Hi, everything's great, said some guy who seems to be getting very popular and is then arrested and killed for being too popular, which only makes him more popular. You can make... <laughs> Hey, that's kind of how Christianity happened, huh? Damn. Boiled down into seven seconds. Hi, everything's great, said some guy who seems to be getting very popular and is then arrested and killed for being too popular, which only makes him more popular. You can make a religion out of this. Bro, I didn't realize that Christianity happened so far into into the history of human, of mankind. I guess it only happened 10, uh, 2,000 years ago, huh? It's kind of weird how, how close that is to us. Want silk? Now you can buy it from China. They just made a brand new or you can get their own water sick new trade or you can get their own water let's just conquer fucking vietnam real quick China's again. all the dynasties falling and then coming back together and then falling china had a china's been a little tumultuous apparently i don't think i knew this about china then it broke again, it broke again. fuck Still can't cross the Sahara Desert? Try camels. Hell yeah, now we got business. Said the Ghana <laughs> Empire selling lots of gold and slaves. Hi, I live in the... And slaves. Real quick. It's the golden age of India. There's the Gupta Empire. Not Chandragupta, just Gupta. First name. You wonder why Indians are so smart, bro. Why they hold all the fucking high paying jobs. They created that shit. Guess who's in Rome? Barbarians. What's a barbarian? Non-Romans, said the Romans, being invaded by non-Romans. R.I.P. Roman Empire. Or Damn. actually just half of it. The other half is just fine, but it's not in Rome anymore, so let's give it a new name. Byzantine the Empire, yeah. Figured out the stars. Oh, and here's a huge city. Population, everyone. A wild, wild that the pyramids both got built in similar fashions with having zero, zero communication between the two. We are just now 
getting Aztec and Mayan empires. Deep in the Arabian desert, on the top of a mountain, the real god whispers in Muhammad's ear. So he goes down to the cube where everyone worships gods, and he tells them their gods are all fake. And Bro, I just saw on a uh, fucking Twitter... Somebody that's like mad popular on Twitch or on YouTube, somebody who streams, he made a uh, Minecraft meme and there's just like a giant ass Minecraft guy with his pickaxe and he was like hitting that for fucking for resources. Not a good idea. Yeah, uh, you can't do that. Here. So he goes down to the cube where everyone worships gods and he tells them their gods are all fake. And everyone got so mad at him that he had to leave town and go to a different town. You can make a religion out of this and maybe conquer the world as well. The Roman Empire is long gone, but somehow the Pope is still the Pope. Plus there's new kingdoms all over Europe. I wonder if there's room for Moors. Here's all the wisdom. Bar. I wonder if there's room for Moors. Fun fact. There is an episode of Seinfeld called The Bubble Boy, where George and Jerry, they go to visit this kid in a bubble. George ends up playing Bubble Boy, like a game of trivia for all the marbles, basically. George pulls a card of history, and the answer was the Moors, and the kid said it, but George had a typo on his card, and it said, sorry, the answer we're looking for is the Moops. And they got in an argument, Bubble Boy versus Bubble had to go to the hospital. The Franks have the biggest kingdom in Europe, and the Pope is so proud that he invites the king over for Christmas. Surprise, you're the new Roman emperor, said the Pope, pretending to still be part of the Roman Empire. Then the Franks broke their kingdom into what will later be called France and not France. The Northerners, or just Norse if you don't have much time. Oh, is this sponsored by NordVPN? Are exploring. They go north, from the north to the northern north, and they find some land, two types of land, and they name them accordingly. Bro, I was a pranked. I was about to say it's so stupid that Iceland is named Iceland when it's green and that Greenland's made, named Greenland when it's all ice. The Pope is ready to make some more emperors of the Roman Empire, the Holy Roman Empire. It's actually Germany, but don't worry about it. New kingdoms. Christianize all the kingdoms. Which brand would you like? Mine's better. Mine's better. Mine's better. Time to conquer England, said William. It's a bird. It's a plane. Shout out Roman Catholic, baby. <laughs> we out here. Can you help us get rid of the Seljuks? Maybe take back the Holy Land on the way? Come on, I know you want to take back the Holy Land. Yes, I do actually want to do that. Let's do a crusade. Crusade. They did Boom. many crusades, some of which almost didn't fail. But at least the Italians got some sweet trade deals. Goodbye, Mayans. Hello, Toltecs. China just invented bombs and typing. And the Mongols just invaded most of the universe. Nice going, Genghis. I bet that will last a long time. The Christians are doing a great job reconquering Iberia, which will soon be called Spain and not Spain. Please remain Christian. We will check in later to see if you're still Christian when you least expect. Whoops, half the of Europe Spanish just died. Inquisition. China's back, yay. Half of Europe just died? Man, the world was so much easier when we didn't exist, huh? Look at all this bullshit. Like, all this has happened in the span of 3,000 years. Oh, Italy's really rich. Time for them to care a lot about art and the ancient classics. It's kind of like a rebirth. Here's a printer. Grand Let's make books. Bit. So you think you can conquer the Byzantine Empire? Don't forget to ban Europe from the Indian spice trade. What? That's bullshit, said Portugal. Spiceless. Well, I guess we'll have to find another way to India. They need Wait. a trade route. Columbus, probably smoking crack. If the world is round, let's go this way to India. No, don't worry. We already got this, said Portugal. So Chris goes to Spain. Hey, Spain, want to hire me to find India by going around back of the world? No, please. No, please. No, please. Okay. So he sails into the ocean and discovers more ocean and then discovers the Indies and Japan. Let's draw a line to decide who gets which half of the world. He found the Indies and Japan was just in the fucking Cayman Islands. The Aztec and Inca empires are off to a great start. I wonder if they know that Europe just discovered their continent. Bro, it's crazy that the reason why the Aztec and Incan empires fell was not because of like war, but was because of the, the diseases that Europe brought over, like chlamydia wild to me if you're from europe your great 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 ancestors were out there fucking sheep i hope you know that hey christians do you sin now you can buy your way out of hell that's bullshit this whole thing is bullshit that's a scam fuck the church here's 95 reasons why said martin luther in his new book which might have accidentally started the protestant reformation damn not martin luther king be martin luther king named after this guy portugal had a dream that they controlled the entire indian ocean including the spice trade and then that dream was real. Yes, and sir. Spain realized that this is not India, but they pillaged it anyway. Damn. It's being realized. Gotta... It's being realized that this is not India. Fuck it. We're here already. Might as well pillage it. Then the Dutch revolt and all the hipsters moved to Amsterdam. Damn, said Amsterdam. Ah. Uh, we far. gotta start pillaging some stuff. Question one. Can you get to India through North America? No, but at least there's beaver. Question two. Steal the spice trade. That's not a question, but the Dutch did it anyway. Shut up. Guess where all the sugar's made? In Brazil. Stolen. In the Caribbean. And it's so goddamn profitable, you might forget to not do slavery. The next thing on Russia's to do... He might forget to not do slavery. Oh shit, I forgot. We need those slaves. Britain and France are having a friendly discussion about who should control the entire world. More specifically, Ohio. Then it escalates into a seven-year discussion, giving pressure a, a chance to show Austria who's boss. But what about Britain and France? Did they figure out who's boss? Yes, they did. It's... 
All right, I'm pretty much solid on history from this point forward. Britain, guess who's broke? Also Britain, so they start taxing the hell out of America. Fuck you, says America, declaring their independence and fighting for it. And France helps them win. Now France is broke. And Britain will have to send their prisoners to a different continent. Wait, if France is broke, why do the king and queen still wear such fancy dresses? Let's overthrow the palace and cut all their heads off, said Robespierre, cutting everybody's head off until someone eventually got mad and cut his head off. You can make a relit- No, don't. Literally cutting heads off left and right during the, during the French Re Revolution. So fucking strange. Wait, who's in charge of France now? said Napoleon, trying to take over Europe. Luckily, they banished him to an island. But he came back. Luckily, they banished him to another island. There goes Latin America, becoming independent in the Latin American Wars of Independence. Britain just figured out how to turn steam into power, so now they can make many different types of machines and factories. Here we go, the Industrial and Revolution. So they can make a lot of products real fast. Then they invent some trains, and conquer India, and maybe put some trains there. Hey, China, said Britain. Buy stuff from us. Nah, dude, we already got everything, says China. So Britain tried to get them addicted to opium, which worked, actually. But then China... This is a crazy story right here. Which worked, actually. But then China made it illegal and dumped it all into the sea. So Britain threw a hissy fit and made them open up five cities and give them an island. China they give them Hong Kong? And made them open up five cities and give them an island. Yep, Hong Kong. Technology is Damn. about to be crazy. The United States finally figured out whether slavery is good or bad. It's bad, they decided. And then they continued manifesting their destiny, which is to kill the rest of the natives and take their land and maybe kick out the Mexicans too. Damn. Manifest destiny was not a great time. It's a pretty solid blemish on American history. Hey, slavery is bad, but let's just kill everybody to the West and conquer that shit. The United States ran out of destiny to manifest, so they're looking for more. Hi, Cuba. Wait, Spain controls Cuba. Well, blame something on them and go to war. What should we blame on Spain? Let's blame the main on Spain. So they blame the main on Spain. Boom. Now we're in business. To celebrate, they kick Panama out of Panama and make a canal connecting the two oceans. Britain just found oil in the Middle East. It makes cars go. China is so tired of being bossed around that they delete- Damn, man. Imagine sitting on top of the world's supply of oil and how rich that would make you. Europe hasn't had a war since the last war, so they start World War One. Look at those <laughs> guns. It's going to be a great war. So great we won't- Look at how rudimentary since these the guns last are. War, so they start World War One. Look at that- Tank is dog shit. Plane is dog shit. Flamethrowers. <laughs> flamethrowers in World War One, And then basically the Geneva Convention was like, hey, flamethrowers are a little OP. How about we don't, uh, we don't burn people alive? We get, we got to act civilized in war at least. Also, fun fact about rules of war. Uh, you cannot have knives and blades that are three headed so a blade that's like in the shape of a triangle you're not allowed to use those because of how hard it is to stitch that wound it has to be a two-sided blade like a flat blade like that fun facts with Ernest. it's gonna be a great war so great we won't need a second one after it's over they blame germany russia went on strike and the workers overthrew the government now everyone's paycheck is the same communism in the soviet union the arabs revolt and britain helps communism and bro sounds good on paper Key turkey makes a brand new turkey and then the saudis conquer arabia it just seemed like the right thing to do hello damn it's crazy that people are still conquering lands and that world war one is already passed maybe i just can't foresee for far enough but i do not see any conquering happening happening at any time during my lifetime i feel like everything is conquered the way it still needs to be though the way it needs to be conquered at least all the major ones like no one's conquering russia no one's conquering france no one because it's like we're all we're all in a stalemate hey you try to do that we'll bomb you all right you try to bomb you then you try to bomb me then i'll bomb you ukraine at the moment yeah exactly ass face but i don't know how successful they're going to be in that because we kind of exist if you control trade by blockading or by tax tariffs or what have you then empires fall or the governments fall and then you can conquer i don't think we really see too much outside of ukraine we really don't see too much conquering by force situation the world was so much easier before we existed and started cooking seeing this video is making me realize how shitty of a species the, the united the than humans are. Yeah, yeah. USA says no wheat to Russia. Russia will hurt. No, I got you. But then if you do that, then you're putting a fucking rabid animal, like pinning it in a corner. What's going to happen if you do that? It's all just like, it's all gusto and bravado, but nothing, nothing could actually really ever happen because we are at the technological point where we could annihilate everybody. Yeah. Assured mutual destruction. Exactly. It's kind of like the same theory of if everybody owns a gun, then we will be safer because the bad people with guns will more than likely not attack people knowing that their life could come to an end if they do. It's that type of let's just arm everybody. That way nobody is like a threat. Also, I didn't realize how recent Jesus was in the whole. 
I didn't realize all the shit that happened before Roman Catholicism even existed. It kind of makes me want to believe in religion even more. I'm like, so you're telling me we had all this and then you think that this group of people just started making this up about this one dude? It just seems illogical that, and I could be wrong, like atheists are going to, you know, they have a completely different mindset. But to me, it seems illogical that these group of people would just make this shit up. You know what I mean? Like, we're just going to make up that this one dude had healing powers. I feel like they would have had to have some type of evidence in order to believe so strongly. And I think the ones that did have evidence were the disciples, if I'm not mistaken. Hundreds of eyewitnesses will do that. That's what I'm saying, Kayla. Like if you have eyewitness testimony and it's not just one person who's off their fucking rocker, I feel like because Jesus was a mortal man and they and they witnessed it, Versus like just thinking that all this happened from God, you know, because like the Aztecs, the Mayans, they they all believed that everything happened because God's hand was the one moving the pieces. We got to cut this dude's head off so we get light tomorrow. And so the sun comes up tomorrow versus like we don't believe it's God's hand necessarily. We believe that this guy who we saw do these actions that we would normally say that God is responsible for. Let's start believing in this dude. Aztecs just pay the electric electricity bill, honestly. Yeah, I just happened to be with somebody's life every once in a while. Anybody seen Apocalypto? Goaded ass movie. Yes, it's the 1920s calling. Let's get in the car and drive to a party and listen to jazz on the radio and go to the movies. The economy's great and it'll probably be great forever. Just kidding. Psych! Psych! I think we're on another like housing market bubble and it might just be like on the West Coast and East Coast bubbles, but I feel like the housing costs is rising way faster than the ability, not even just housing, but rent. Like the, these prices are rising so much faster than the and than the average income can keep up with. Just kidding. Germany's back featuring Hitler, the angry mustache model, and he's mad at the Jews for existing. Japan is finally conquering the East, and they're so excited they raped Nanking way too hard, they should probably just deny it. Hitler's out of control, <laughs> so the international community tackles him and tries to explain why- A low key? We could thank Hitler for the United States being as, as powerful as it is. Because our industrial revolution, while it was happening, it definitely got sped up by the fact that Hitler was taking over the world on that side of the world. It's crazy to think about. Like our, our shit went to shit. The Great Depression, we we're slowly trying to climb back out of it, and then boom, next World War, 20 years later. Oh shit, we, start, we need to start making shit. War means business. War means sales. Building seven. Did it really happen? Or was it George Bush? <laughs> Worth it? Pacific Showdown. United States versus Japan. Fight. Fight. Extinction Finish ball. It. Let's unite all the... Man, oh. You gotta hand it to fucking Japan, bro. You're, you're kind of dumb. I, I, I get it. Like, we warned you we were gonna drop a nuke, and you said, oh, no one's ever dropped a nuke before. Doubt it. So I get that that might have happened because it was a precedent. It was like a precedent-setting moment. But when we said, hey, cut the bullshit, or we're gonna drop another one, we're, we're already one in. In for a penny, in for a pound. What makes you think we're not gonna drop another one? And they said, fuck it. Let's see what happens. We might have gone a little overboard with the first nuke, you know, annihilating an entire city. But the second one's got to be on y'all, dog. Come on. The fuck around and find out scale. Y'all were fucking around at a 10. Y'all tried it twice. You didn't you didn't believe the first time. Finish it. Let's unite all the nations and have some world peace. Seems legit. Hi, I'm Gandhi. And if Britain doesn't get the hell out of India, I'm going to starve myself in public. Wow, that worked. Yeah, what the fuck was Gandhi on? Like, what the fuck was that about? I have zero idea what Gandhi did and like in, in history. Was he just on like some Zen shit? It was like one of those where you're kind of in a checkmate. Like, we can't hurt this guy because this guy is clearly like if we hurt him, it's going to be seen as an overstep of power. The Jews and the Arabs finally figured out which one of them should live in the Holy Land. Me, they both said at the same time. And once I found out that Jews basically say that the one guy that most of the world follows is a false prophet, that's when I was like, oh, now I see why you guys might draw a little bit of hate every once in a while. And the fact y'all control the media and all of... Let's divide up the land so everyone's happy. Psych, they both get angry. <laughs> Look out, China. There's a new China in China. There's the Korean War. Korea versus Korea. Nobody wins. Then it's on pause forever. Let's meet the sponsors. Oh, the Koreans are at war with each other. Nobody Nobody wins. <laughs> Let's just be on pause for forever. Hey, yo, North Korea trips me the fuck out, bro. I some, somehow I got a North Korea talk. Like I was on my FYP, I was scrolling through, and then I just got locked in on North Korea TikTok. And that shit is so surreal, bro. And now a word from our sponsor, honey. Just kidding about the whole the Jew joke. I was just kidding about that. Kanye really is not that bad of a Let's meet the sponsors. Oh, it's the two global superpowers. They're having a friendly debate over which economic system is good and which one is an evil virus of Satan. And they both have atom bombs. Fight. Fight! Wait, no, that would be the end of the world. Let's just keep it cool and spy on each other instead. And make sure we have enough atom bombs. I'll race you to space. 
Got him. Make some more country. Got him, coach. I don't give a fuck about space. We're going to the next closest piece of rock. Sputnik is a dog shit name for the first thing that's going to reach the moon. I'm so glad that Sputnik didn't reach. I don't want some fucking capsule that sounds like a like a puppy. I don't want that being the first thing that reaches moon in history. I know what it means, Paralaz. I get it, but it sounds like a dog's name. The United States finally decided whether racism is good or bad. They decided it's bad, and the world agrees. South Africa might need another minute to think about it. Let's check the Apartheid until 1991 is fucking wild. Gotta keep his bitches separated. Call that apartheid. World population. Whoa. Okay. Technology's better too. That. Damn, we were really fucking in the 1800s, huh? Did y'all see that? Let's check the world population. Whoa. Yo, 1800 to 2000, we were fucking getting our rounds in. That shit is wild. Let's check the world population. Whoa. Okay. Technology's better too, that might keep happening. The Soviet Union decides to that relax a little happening. and accidentally falls apart. Europe makes a union, so now they can all use the same money. Except Britain, because they don't feel like it. Let's check the mail. Surprise, it's on the computer. Whoops, someone just attacked America. I bet they'll remember that. Phone call, surprise. <laughs> I bet they'll remember that. Never forget, baby. Never forget. It was a Bush conspiracy. I bet they'll remember that. Phone call. Surprise. It's in your pocket. Want to learn everything? Surprise. It's on the computer. Now your phone's a computer, which is in your pocket. Whoops, the economy just crashed. Don't worry, the big banks won't fail because they're not supposed to. Surprise. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, that, too big to fail? Yeah, just like how fucking the Titanic made it to Britain. Surprise. Flying robots with bombs. Want to print a brain? Some people have no friends. Some people have no food. The globe is warming. And the ocean is full of plastic. Let's save the planet, said everybody, not knowing how. Let's invent a thing inventor, said the thing inventor inventor after being invented by a thing inventor. Couldn't describe AI in a better way. Pretty cool. By the way, where the hell are we? That was wild, and it's wild because, like, up until right here, 200,000 years ago, four minutes of this video is Earth history, and then the rest is how humans are just fucking getting out of control the whole time. My brain is tired, if I'm being honest with you.